guys, we're back with another episode of Bad Boys Girl. This is chapter nine, and let's just jump right in. No one's ever gonna believe that fairy tale, especially from a slut like Tessa Middleton. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much I hate Nicole. Cry all you want, you don't have your stone boys to protect you now. Oh, uh, well, maybe I do. That's where you're wrong, Nicole. Jay, babe, thank goodness you're here. Tessa was bullying me, telling me that I wasn't pretty and didn't deserve to have you. That's enough, Nicole. What? Jay, please, I'm not the enemy. She is. Is Jay actually standing up for me? I wanted to believe you, Nicole. I really did. But Jay, stop. You've had your turn. How could you do this to Tessa? To me? You actually sent Hank into that bathroom? T t to do what exactly? Assault your best friend? Do you realize how sick and twisted that is? Yes, Jay, yes. Tell her how that was like the most scummiest thing on earth that a girl could do to anyone and definitely a friend. What did Tessa ever do to deserve that? Jay, you don't understand. If you really love me, then look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't do this. Tell me I'm wrong. I, I, you can't, can you? You lied to my face about everything. Not everything, baby. I still want to be together. Well, I don't. Not anymore. Yes! Is that the end of Nicole? I'm sorry, Tessa. I should have known. Accept Jay's apology. Tell Jay sorry. And then we accepted. Like, he really stood up for her. It's okay. You didn't know. But you and Cole, you tried warning me. And I wouldn't listen. I feel so stupid. Don't feel that way. I'm here for you now. I know. Thanks. Baby, please, you have to believe me. Is she crying? I don't want, I didn't want any of this to happen. It's all a simple misunderstanding. If you just let me explain. Nicole, we're done. Don't call me, don't text me. Don't come near me ever again. I don't need you, Jay Stone. I don't need any of you. If you think this is over, it isn't. Well, I guess that answers my question. This is not the end of Nicole. Oh, but she's Tessa says it is. Actually, this is over. Now everyone will know just how cold-hearted Nicole Andrea Bishop really is. Good luck finding a dance partner tonight. Or ever again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as the 20th Annual Founders Ball commences. It's time. Are you ready? I think so. I swear I'll make this up to you, Tessa. Thanks, Jay. Now get out there and win this thing. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that crowd. I thought this was a ball. What is happening? <laughs> now let's welcome our first couple to the stage, Cole Stone and Tessa Middleton. Now it's like they're at a dance competition? I still can't believe I'm dancing up here with you. I hate to break it to you, shirtcake, but this is all a dream. Shut up. I'm sorry to disappoint, but it's true. Even you can't ruin this moment. I wouldn't even dare. <laughs> I can't believe Jay finally knows the truth. Hey, shirtcake, eyes on me, remember? I'm sorry, I know. What were you thinking about? Just hold me, please. Aw, always. Yes, they're so cute together. This night is not about Nicole or anybody else. It's about you and me. Oh, they're so good together. And now let's welcome Beth Parker and Travels Middleton to the stage. But they're like just doing regular dances. What is this? And where are they? When did they get together? Beats me. 
Are you upset? Mm, maybe happy for my best friend? I should be, but Beth can make her own decisions. I guess she could do worse than your brother. Yeah, she could be dancing with you. That hurts. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Besides, I'm too happy to let Beth spoil this moment. Whoa, is this her new dance partner? <laughs> what is she up to? And finally, our last couple, Nicole Andrea Bishop and Hank Fontaine. <laughs> He's still beat up. Oh, what is happening? Are they kissing? I'm not surprised. Nicole was never going to sit this dance out. She's twisted. I just don't know how she got this way. What happened to make her so vicious? Let's not think about that now. Let's just have fun. Shortcake, where are you going? Maybe I should talk to Jay. I bet he's having a pretty rough night. What? Why? Think about how awful he must feel. So? We're supposed to be enjoying our night, aren't we? I'm not so sure. You seem more interested in my brother than me. What? You've barely taken your eyes off of him. I knew this was going to happen. Cole, Jay's my friend. He's always been my friend. I know. He's messed up. But I should be there for him when he needs someone to talk to. Just don't go falling in love with him, okay? Cole, I'm here with you. Okay, I trust you. You're such a good person. That's what I really love about you, Tess. Should I talk to Jay? Um, yeah. Be a good friend and make sure Jay is okay. I promise. I'm just talking to him as a friend. Fine. Guess someone should make sure he's not crying in a corner somewhere. I'll be right back. I promise. Why did she walk off so sad? Why is he like in the coat room? <laughs> you did great up there. Thanks. Are you going to be okay, Jay? It's all my fault. I'm sorry you got caught up in this stuff. We all did. I'm just glad to have you back. You look gorgeous, by the way. Thanks, Jay. You look pretty handsome yourself. I'm sorry you don't have anyone to dance with tonight. Maybe next time I'll pick a better date. Seems like Cole made the smarter choice for once. Ooh, is he trying to flirt? Hey, thanks for checking up on me. I'll be fine, Tess. You're a good friend. I promise. I'll try to be a better one from now on. Thanks, Jay. Aww. That's a hug. Okay, I'm like, what are, what are you doing? I better go. I shouldn't leave Cole waiting too long. No, oh, he's still sad. How's my brother holding up? I think he was just glad to have someone to talk to. Poor Jay. Poor Jay. Give me a break. I'm just trying to be a good friend. Look, I know how you've always felt about Jay. You've been carrying a torch for him for years. If he's the person you want to be with, I get it. Cole. Folks, it's time to announce the Founders Ball King and Queen. Tessa Middleton and Cole Stone. Yay, we won! <laughs> Why are we looking like so horrified? Now let's welcome our Founders Ball King and Queen. Come on up here, kids. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he looks so funny with his uh, mustache. Oh, is that the mom or? I don't know what to say. I, I can't believe I'm standing up here. It's so surreal. I probably don't deserve this crown. Why is it crickets? That's what the old me would have said. That I'm unworthy, not smart, not pretty enough. But this year, something changed. Somebody finally, truly believed in me. Somebody I've known since I was a kid. Someone I never thought I could be with. This somebody, he really showed me a new side of himself tonight. It turns out that he's always believed in me. All those years, I never knew. I never knew how he felt. But he's the reason I'm standing here in front of you tonight. Grateful and honored and finally so happy to be myself. 
So thank you, Cole Stone. Thank you for never giving up on me. Ah, I think Jay thought she was talking about him. So that's a little awkward. And always being there, even when I was too blind to notice. Oh, whoa, yes. <laughs> They're all excited. Yay. <laughs> he's not, he's not happy. To be continued. It's a short little chapter ending up the ball slash dance performance in front of a big crowd. That was a little weird. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I'm just loving Tessa and Cole together. I, I just I hope that the story doesn't push us towards Jay because I just didn't really like how Jay was so with Nicole and just so against Tessa, not realizing who Nicole was. And I don't like that now that all of a sudden he sees Nicole for what she really is. Now it's like, oh, flirty, flirty with Tessa. And now, now get out of here with that. Get out of here with that, Jay. I'm I just love Tessa and Cole. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you all in the next one.